Now today we're going to be talking about the theory of how good Ren will be on PXG. We have this new color spread from chapter 227 and we finally get to see him in a color jersey after not seeing him for a very long time. I think Ren will showcase his skills and continue to be the best player in blue lock as we already know he scored two goals in his debut game of the NEL against Ubers. We have not seen anything else from PSG since then as we await Moon Chen to face them after Ubers. I hope we can get an updated ranking soon and see how the other games went down while this Moon Chen game was going on. Ren has always been quite the character and I can't wait to see how he do once he is back. So first let's talk about Ren's hypothetical destroyer eye. I had made a video with future eye abilities predicting that Ren will more than likely have his own type of eye. We had seen a spiral type eye design for Ren during the under 20 match that was unique to just him. In his flow state he was able to see an opponent's weapon and destroy it instantly. I think Ren will be able to achieve this playstyle again without needing flow. He will work on these skills that are just instincts for him and he will become an even better player because of it. With Ren's flow he was able to change into a playstyle that aggressively focused on offense. I think PXG and Moonchan's style of play will be about the same, focusing on a 2 striker team that focuses heavily on offense. Ren's flow in the under 20 match is still one of the best performances we have seen and it was only a last minute evolution that we got to witness. We have not seen Ren play a full game since then and we do not know how this playstyle is now and what dreams he will fully achieve now that he has no more resentment towards being the little brother of Sai. With Destroyer Eye, this will easily be the best eye ability in Blue Lock as I'm sure he and Shido will also have Metavision. And now that Metavision is more common, you will need other type of abilities to be able to compensate for these type of world class matches. Now that Rin has found a new resolve, I think his playstyle will finally change after playing Sai. We know from Rin's light novel that after Sai left for overseas, Rin started to change his playstyle more like Sai because that's what helped his team in high school win. In doing so for that, his original ego had been sealed by himself and he no longer relied on his killer instincts that he always had as a kid. Rin already says that he felt like his flow state was nostalgic and new at the same time. They show a panel when he was a kid and he might not fully remember that time, but Sai remembers it vividly. He knows that Rin has the capabilities of becoming the best striker in the world, but he kept focusing on becoming the second best striker after Sai, that he would never be able to surpass him and become the best. I think Rin has now accepted himself for who he is. He is no longer just Satoshi Sai's little brother, but instead of Toshi Rin, he has found his own identity and finds clarity in the decisions he has made. He realizes now that he needs his own goal by himself and not the one he made with his brother who has long forgotten that dream. Rin still doesn't fully understand that flow side of him that was let out. It was so intuitive that he didn't even realize the talent and skills he displayed on the field. At that time Rin completely destroyed everyone and no one stood a chance. If he can continue that playstyle but without flow, he will be an unstoppable force. Megasai thinks it goes to say that Rin will have a deep rivalry and revenge game that he will put on against Asagi. Asagi stole the moment from him and became known as Japan's hero, whereas Rin was just in the background having to accept it all. Sai even tells Rin that Asagi is the one who can change Japan and not him, causing his rivalry with Asagi to grow even more. His rivalry would be the most anticipated and it would be the most meaningful as Asagi has never beaten Rin in a match before. Rin is slowly going for revenge because of his ego and his resentment to Asagi for stealing the spotlight. Rin has already declared Asagi as his rival and knows that he will come again to completely destroy him. These two have been a force as they are a great duo but also great rivals and enemies. This is what Blue Log is all about and goes to show how deep this feud has been going on. When Rin sees Asagi again in the NEL, it will be great because this will be the last match for both teams and they have both established themselves on their teams and we can finally see who will take control of Blue Lock and become the number one striker for Japan. I'm starting to think that Rin chose PXG for a reason. PXG is a gateway for superstars like Rin himself and maybe there's a certain reason why he chose that. When it comes to what environment everyone chose, it did feel random for some people, but players like Rin and Asagi have their reasons for going to those certain clubs. Maybe Rin went to PSG because he knows more about France than the story is letting us know. Or maybe he even knew about Loki and how he was there and wants to get his revenge on taking him on. When Blue Lock went against World 5, Rin and Shido were the only ones who could score a goal and Rin treated the game like any other game with the intention to win. Rin might have some unfinished business with the World 5 and he's starting with Loki first to get more knowledge on the best players in the world. When going against World 5, Leonardo Luna tells Rin that his lack of experience is limiting his perspective. I think Rin took that advice and is not sure how to stop someone like Loki, so he goes to PSG to really figure out how to defeat someone like him. We will see more of him and Loki's relationship once we get to that point in the story, but Rin and Loki might have a great relationship and how they deal with each other and could possibly think the same when it comes to the game and winning. Now with Rin and Loki's relationship since Loki is the same age, I don't think his master style of teaching would just be like a coach. Loki would probably show them how to work just based on his skill and showcasing how to develop yourself through practical means. There's no way Rin will just broadly accept Loki, or if he does, it is for a certain reason. It will be great to see Rin and Loki's relationship, as in the NEO, usually the main striker and the masters have a deeper relationship with each other, and I think it will be the same for these two. In the panel where we see Loki, 
Rin has a serious look on his face, which could showcase that he still wants to take down Loki for himself, and the best way for him to evolve his skills is through France, which is the gateway for Bright Stars. He also already has an offer from PXG after his first game, so he's already solidified his spot and going there if he wanted to. Rin and Loki's relationship could be more subtle as Rin is not good with having friends, but he could also connect with Loki as Loki is a bright star and seems very humble and easy to talk to. Loki's already had jokes for Rin when they faced off against each other and he could show Rin how to fully elevate his skills to take on anyone. Now we'll talk about how Shido and Rin might be able to work. Now these two have the worst compatibility with each other as Shido relies on instinct and Rin logically finds the best spot and goes there. As Rin's playstyle might change to a more instinctive style like Shido, these two could work out but it depends on how the other players will help them to score. I said this before but I think this team plays offensively like a blue lock style where they all devour each other to score, causing Rin and Shido to have many chances to score. They will be able to work with each other by also going against each other but giving turns to each other to score. It might be easier said than done as we don't know fully but when Rin is scoring a second goal against Ubers, in this panel right here it looks like Shido is trying to catch up to Rin to either stop him or get the ball for himself. This playstyle is just like Moon Chen where they could possibly be a chaotic team that is so skilled offensively that they will win games anyway. Rin and Shido will be able to work this time as well if a midfielder like Karasu can keep everything around them contained, and also if Chappie, the rumored new Gen 11, could be the piece that also helps them score and go off on their own. Now we'll talk about Rin's relationship with Chappie and how this could be the best duo in the NEL. Chappie is being guarded by Aiku here, so he is obviously very important on the team for Aiku to be marking him, and he is able to get the attention off of Rin so that he can score. Chappie might be an unselfish type of player who helps Rin in game like how Kuruna helps Asagi and allows him to get in better spots to score. Chappie and Rin's relationship could work out very well and he could be the secret to Rin's ultimate success. Now I don't know what position Chappie could be or what he would be doing for this team, but this team is an offensive unit with the guys they have on this team. No way all of them are focused on just scoring so players like Chappie and Karsu just help to assist as they can and make this team win and showcase their own values. I cannot wait to see this duo come to life. Now we have Rin's relationship with Karsu. Now Karsu is an underrated sleeper for this team as he is confirmed as a midfielder. He was the beating heart for the Blue Lock 11 and I'm sure he will be the same for this team. He is someone who can get everyone to focus and calm down mid game and put in the right adjustments when needed. I think him and Rin will have a great relationship as he needs to find a way to get Rin and Shido to their best spots. Karsu is a player that can really do it all. I'm sure Styles maintaining the lines and being the great ball keeper that he is while also assisting Rin and Shido whenever they need the help. He now has Shido who has great speed and can utilize him perfectly. Karsu would be a great addition to the stack team and his presence as a leader will come in handy with all the guys on the team. Rin and Karsu will be on the same team once again and Karsu can fully develop a partnership with Rin that will not only help this team but also help Japan when they play in the World Cup. But these are just my predictions of Rin and how well he would do in the NEL. Let me know how you guys feel about Rin and just how good do you think he will be. We have not seen him for a while so it will be good to know how far he has advanced since the under 20 match. Well I thank you guys for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.